What's going on everyone? It's Rock, your boy from Flip the Thrift. I'm about to go thrifting today. So anyway, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up button and hit that notification bell below to get notified when I post another video. Um, we're going to go out, we're going to thrift a little bit today. Like I said, I took some time off a couple days. Um, just to kind of catch up on. All right, so today I decided, let's go to the Goodwill bins. Um, we're parked on the grass because they're super packed. Um, I'm gonna try not to be here all day. Imagine that. All right, so far we found a couple items. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, so this is a really good item. Um, this is Apartment 9. It's not the greatest brand, but it does have the tag still on it from the, shows you the feathers inside. It does have fox fur on it. So I'm guessing that I can probably get about $40 for that. All right, guys, so I got the down coat, and I was talking to a friend. What's going on, friend? Um, and he, he noticed that there was a Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a scarf. It's brand new. So I grabbed that. Then I grabbed this Miller. Good call. Grab that. Um, then there's this jacket. I'm trying to grab things that are relevant to, to the weather and the time right now. So I got this Eddie Bowers, just like kind of like a raincoat or whatever. So I got that. And then I did find a cycling jersey. It's from 2001. It's a Segoy. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's, it's probably better to find them when they're blank. This one is a Health America insurance or something like that. Or, and, of course, I forgot my bag because they're at the Goodwill and they don't provide them. So let's get it back. Forgot to lock my car anyway. A bunch of these Greg Normans. There's one, two, three. These are the Tasso, Tasso Elba. There's another one and another one. That one's missing the tag, so they wore that one. They don't have clubs on them, but I'm not gonna pay five a piece for all of them. That'd be five ten. That'd be thirty dollars for all of them. All right, so this is a definite scoop. This is a Cabela's. It's a wind shear. It's just I think this is made out of wool. Um, these generally sell for about $45, $50. This is going to be 5 bucks. so this is a definite scoop. 5 into 50 all day. All right, guys, so this is my comfort zone. I'm just not feeling the bins anymore. All right, so these are Keen. Um, these are called Keen Terradora. They're going to be taxed a little bit. They're going to be 12 but I think I could probably at least triple that number, if not more. They're just in really good shape. I'm definitely going to bend them to make sure that they're good. And then this is the type of item that you guys want to pick up now, like stuff like this, like Americana, because 4th of July is on its way. Look, guys, I think somebody shrunk these Danskos. Hmm. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to pick up these Timberland wedges. Um, the light brown does a little bit better. They're going to be 12 bucks, but it's all good. These are the Skechers Reggae Sandals. Um, I think I can probably get about 35 for these, maybe with shipping. Maybe not. Um, either way, I can probably at least turn that 10 into 30. So I can probably most likely triple my money. So I just don't know if I want to spend 10. These are Sorel Slingback. Um, these are going to be 750, which isn't too bad. I think I could probably get about 30 for these, something like that. All right, guys, so I'm going to pick these up for 750. Anytime I can find a brand new pair of jeans, these are actually off the Nordstrom rack. So you know that these were probably really expensive new. It doesn't really matter, but if they sit long enough, they'll probably sell for about $35. I did get a couple other items. Um, I think we're going to try these out for my son. Um, he's an extra large. These are kind of like boxers, but they do have pockets. They're really light. Hoping that he'll wear them for the summertime. And then I've seen these, um, these Reebok CrossFits. These are the Nano 6s. Um, these sell for a lot more. I think than these. I think this is just the, the regular CrossFit, but these are like brand new. There's like hardly any wear on them. They are going to be 12, but that's okay. Then we have this 9 West. 
This is only going to be $3. Um, this is perfect for tennis and golf right now, probably more for tennis. And I found this white tag, um, Nike white, white tag golf, um, or not golf, swimming trunks. Really cool, has the big Nike swish on the back. Just, they're pretty dope, they're five bucks. Um, probably get about $30 for those. And then I found this, um, I believe this is Detroit Tigers. Um, that's probably from the game. It has the ballpark Franks on the bottom, but it has an autograph on it. So I'm gonna scoop this up for two bucks. All right, so they did have a couple other items in here. They got this Reebok. This looks like brand new. Um, I think they want 12 for this one. 10, they're all 10. This one's 10 too, but this is a full zip Nike. The reason why, this one has a gray tag, which is like a Y2K, maybe mid 2000s, but it's got a big spell out on the back. It says Team Nike on it. And I think that kind of seals the deal. I might be able to get like 50 bucks for this because of that spell out on the back. Nothing on the sleeves, and the condition is really good. There's not there's not a lot of pilling, and there's no stain, so that seals the deal. All right, so here we are. This is an older Champion tag. It's not made in USA, so it's not really old. Um, it's a nice big size. It's an extra large. It's a cool color. Um, there's, like, minimal stains on it, so I'm definitely going to pick this up. It's probably, yeah, they're usually five-something, so I'll grab this up. All right, guys, if you ever see this brand, it's called Heli Hansen. Hansen, um, you'll see the logo right there. It'll be really easy to spot. Big old pocket. Um, this is really nice, like a soft shell. It's in great condition. It's only five. Let me have this Lord & Taylor. This is 100% wool made in Italy. This is going to be five. Scoop. All right, guys, so I think that this is complete. Um... Version lens, wide angle, something. There's three pieces in here, so I'm guessing that this is complete. Anyway, there's one listed for $80. Um, I'm guessing that this probably does have some value, but there isn't any sold, and there's only one listed. So I think I'm going to pick it up. It's only going to be 3 bucks, so probably a good investment. I might get like 40 or 50 for it. Then Mom will be happy. I'm hoping that this is going to work. This is like a... Um, it's for your trimmer, and we need one. So I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if it's, it says we'll fit most of them, so we'll see. Got a lot of really good stuff like Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren. Got a bunch of vintage stuff. Got that, um, the Sir Pendleton. Um, which what? It's a Surf Pendleton. So I've never seen one of them before. I don't know what the value is. Probably around $40 or $50. That's usually what they sell for. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. I have some family matters to attain to we did really really good in that goodwill so i don't really feel the need to go anywhere else plus thanks for watching don't forget to smash the thumbs up button hit the notification bell to get notified when i post another video and if you guys are not subscribed to my channel shame on you subscribe to the channel have a great day peace out